and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. So today I want to be doing a compare and contrast sort of kind of thing between my air fryer oven and the regular toaster. So I want to see um, the difference between the bread that I toast in my air fryer compared to my regular toaster oven. So in the last review, I actually did a review on the air fryer toaster or the air fryer oven and I've used all the functionalities, the bake, the broil, the warm, I've used all the functionalities apart from the toasting functionality. So I'm going to kick off today with, um, I'm going to do two things. So I'm going to have some bread toasted in the air fryer oven and then I'm going to have some bread toasted in the regular toaster and I'm going to compare and contrast. So I kicked off this with um, putting some bread in the air fryer to um, oven and nothing has happened yet. It's not been toasted. So what I'm actually doing here, why I actually did this is because I want to show you the difference between between um, the number of compa or the number of slices of bread you can actually have in the toaster or in the air fryer oven compared to the toaster. So for this size of air fryer oven, it can take six slices of bread. No, scratch that. It can actually take 12. I say that because you can put one, um, you can pair up each of the slices you have here. So it can actually take 12 compared to the regular toaster. And the one we do have actually can take six, sorry, four, four. So it can take four slices of bread. So that's one of the differences that I wanted to highlight, right? So the other thing, of course, in the difference between your regular toaster and your air fryer oven is that the toaster, of course, is much cheaper compared, except there's some toasters that are really, really expensive. But this, in this case, the toaster is much cheaper compared to the air fryer oven. So, but before I go into um, the functionality in terms of how the bread is going to come out, I just wanted to touch on some other things that I think are differences or similarities between them. So in, apart from the fact that this air fryer oven is multifunctional, so you can bake, you can fry, you can do lots and lots of things. The toaster is strictly for toasting bread and that's pretty much it, right? So um, let's get straight into it in order to start toasting. So another thing I wanted to mention, yeah, I remember that. So the reason why I have this here is because for the air fryer oven, in addition to being able to toast at multiple slices of bread, you can actually do lots of things with it, right? And so I intentionally did, so you can see, I poked this bread, not poked, it's not hole. I pressed the bread, okay? So I used my fingers to make a hole and you see why I actually did that. And so with the air fryer oven, you really can't, um, you really do have options with regards to, you can make a straight up sandwich, and you can't do that with the toaster. So the toaster is just going to toast, okay? So I'm going to do right now. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to load up the bread. I'm, I know we do have four compartments in the, in the toaster, but I'm just going to use two. The only reason why I'm doing that is because I just want to see the level of toasting or how brown or how light it came out. So I'm going to be using the light portion or the... Uh, which other option do we have there? Oh, the medium. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the medium option for the toaster and I'm gonna to be using the medium option for the bread. For the toaster and for the air fryer, okay? Okay, so one of the things I did here, so on this bread here, I'm gonna bring out this toast and bread because I just need two, right? I've shown you guys that this can take up to six or 12, depending on how you wanna look at it. So I'm gonna start off with, um, and yeah, another thing I forgot to point out. So the F, the, the regular toaster, I can't put butter in it. I haven't tried that though. I don't think it's a wise or smart idea to do that. So I can't put butter in the, in the bread before I put it in the toaster. But for the air fryer, I can actually have that done. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to pop in this bread into the toaster. So I'm not gonna have this kicked off yet because I wanna prep my bread because I want them to all kick up at the same time to buttress the point that I can do multiple things with my bread in the air fryer toaster. Now the main reason why I have this, so what I have here, I'm just going to use two. So for this one, I've already poked, made some kind of a dent and I'll do exactly that now for this second bread so that you have a look see how I achieve that. Okay. 
okay so i have my slice of bread so all i did was to use my clean fingers and poke the middle so the reason why i'm doing that is because i'm going to place one raw egg inside that hole Ta -da! wonderful so that's what that hole is for right so i'm going to place the egg in because i want to make a very very unique kind of sandwich that does have some eggs and it's got some olives it's got some butter and some cheese butter yeah you get me okay so i'm just going to poke one side because um for the air fryer oven i'm going to be using two so i'm going to have one side poked and the other side not poked because it's just one egg i want in between that and so for the air fryer oh, um bread bread i'm going to use in the air fryer i'm going to um, line it up with butter on um, one side the outer bit of the bread because that's the bit that is going to be exposed to the heat the most right so we keep the bread um moisturized or oiled i don't know so we keep we have that done so i'm gonna do it on both sides i should have actually done this before no doesn't make sense yeah it's fine yeah guys i like talking to myself sometimes but yeah there it is okay so this is my bread so i've put butter on both sides and the next thing i'm going to do is to crack my egg into it there you go so i have to do this Woo! there you go look at that so i put the egg put some cheese i should have put some salt and pepper first of all but yeah better the late than never so I put some pepper just because, just because I like pepper. So, and some salt. And I put in some olives, right? Just keeping it really simple. I mean, you can put in any other ingredient in between if you want. So this is the part where ha that has butter. So I'm going to place it like this on top. Okay. And then gently, because it's got the egg in it and I place this voila so medium should be somewhere here I know what the medium I know where the medium is guys my toaster has been flogged and used for years there you go okay so just to be sure just to make sure that we're comparing apples to apples what I also did was just I'm gonna slide in just regular slices of bread right into the oven into the toaster air fryer oven so that we're sure we're comparing apples to apples so instead of the sandwich so the sandwich part was just to show you that that's an extra thing you can do with the air fry oven that you can't do with the toaster so yeah so i've put in another two slices of bread so we've got four in there and yeah so once we're done we'll be back okay so the toasting is done the toaster um the regular oven toaster actually finished like five minutes ahead of time almost to double the amount of time so you can see how this looks came out brown as expected and let's have a look at what we have with the air fryer oven so in order to just compare apples to apples so this is the one that i put in not bad so this is the one from the air fryer oven and this is the one from the regular toaster oven right and if i flip it the other way around right so it's not as uniform so this is the one from the air fryer oven it's not as uniform as you'd have the one from the regular oven but it's not bad so this guy can you see so i already have woo, a sandwich and the, uh, the egg is slightly runny so if you like your own egg really really well done then you can put it in for some a longer time but this is exactly how my kids love their eggs so you can see this is yeah this is just perfect slightly runny and it comes out yummy so this is an advantage you have with the air fryer oven um, for when it comes to toasting bread so if you're wondering to see the other functionalities of the air fryer oven um, the link to how I reviewed the rest of the other functionality should be showing up on the screen so yeah there you have it guys this is my own mini review of toasting bread in the air fryer oven compared to the regular oven or the regular toaster okay so this is air fry this is regular toaster and this is air fryer right 
pretty much the same but yeah that's my own comparison with toasting bread in the air fryer oven compared to a regular toaster so hope you guys enjoyed and please remember to subscribe leave us a comment about the video of what your thoughts are on an air fryer oven toasting bread would you toast bread in the air fryer oven if you had a toaster or what 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 are your thoughts on it let me know in the comment section and please remember to subscribe leave us a comment and then thumbs up the video if you enjoyed what you saw and please feel free to share it to other people because i know lots of people are moving towards the direction of healthier eating with the air fryer it's there's a buzz around air fryer now so yeah, share it out to people you think would benefit from it. And until next time, take care. Bye.